I'm gonna show you charging a Tesla at home. So I wired up this NEMA 1450 outlet to a 50 amp breaker in my panel. It's right there. <clears throat> the NEMA 1450 is basically like a, a lot of ranges nowadays use that outlet. Uh, it's a 240 volt outlet that also includes a neutral and Tesla Model, Model 3 comes with the plug adapter to plug right into that, which connects to, to the Tesla cord, which I have strung out over here by the car. So this is my Model 3 performance that I picked up last week. I love it. Easily the best car that I've ever owned. So this is your charging port that plugs into the car. So you've got this button here that you push and that opens up your charging hatch. You get the white light, which means that you can plug in. So you pop that in there, you get a flashing blue light and then it'll turn to green, which means that we're charging. And I just got a deal flash up on my phone that uh, we've started charging. So. Uh, you can check your phone to see what percentage your battery is at and approximately how long it will take to get a full charge at the current charging rate. Um, I found that the NEMA 1450 with the 50 amp breaker, uh, you get roughly 30 miles of range per hour of charge out of that configuration. So um, <clears throat> I had plugged it into a standard 110 volt outlet to check that out prior to wiring this up and you only get like four to five miles of range per hour of charge so that's certainly not going to cut it um, <clears throat> i've been utilizing superchargers quite a bit because i've got one pretty close to my house and uh, that works out for for my routing and uh, that's definitely good, a good way to go but uh, this is nice to have at home so again tesla model 3 home charging on a NEMA 1450 outlet.